Hi everyone, my name is Jess and I am a thriftaholic. As you can see here, welcome to Thrifting is My Beach. I have a huge garage sale haul from one garage sale. It was my first of the season and it's probably gonna be my best. Hopefully not, but not a lot. So uh, this was at a church garage sale. That's why it was so large. I was there eight minutes after they opened. So there was no other resellers in sight that I noticed. So I didn't know if I had any competition. Let's get started. When I got there, nothing was priced. They say they price everything at checkout, so it was kind of leery. I did hold back on stuff. I would have probably gotten twice as much more, but when I got to checkout, the bags were $6. You fill the bag and it was $6 for clothes. And then the shoes were 50 cents a piece, which you're gonna like jaw drop when I show you the shoes, which we're gonna start with first. All right, um, also don't forget to uh, give me a like if you like reseller content and consider subscribing. If you like um, raw footage, I show you everything um, in my robe. I actually put a little bit of makeup on today because I'm a little pasty, but um, I give it to you real. All right, let's get started with the shoes, shall we? Um, let's just jump right in. Okay, so the first pair you see, very nice pair of suede born boots. They have this um, look, I forget what, it's like the distressed look, where it's, it kind of has a sheen to it. And there's the little logo, the born, born, a very quality boot that people seek after. Nice lace up detail here. These are great shape. I'm from Illinois, so a lot of times you see these kind of boots and they'll have salt marks, which I think are really hard to get rid of. The interior, it's fabric. And just looking for a size. These are a size six, which I'm surprised because they don't look that small. Yep, size six. Again, 50 cents. I will put those near the end of my death pile um, because I got sandals. I need to list these. Not one pair of born sandals, but three. I have two in this uh, light brown, like this tan color, and I got one in black. I wonder if they're size six, like the boots. Yes, I'm guessing from the same person. This nice leather casual sandal. I have this pair. Let's see if these are a size six as well. This pair. Um, where is the size? Oh, it's on the other side. Yeah, the other size six. A lot of sixes. I wish they were like a little bit bigger. Uh, there's another pair, just in black. Uh, here's another good brand. I think it's Teos. Could be saying that wrong. Nice cork wedge with the rattan like straw woven accent. Pretty color. I'm guessing those are six, six to six and a half is what they say. Great condition. I got some tried and true Clarks. Nice um, snake print. This feels like a man-made upper. With a cork wedge, these are a six and a half. Yeah, man-made upper. Little peep toe. Again, great condition. I could send these in to thread up. However, I'm being slightly more selective with what I send them. And so I won't be sending in as much, I don't think. Here's the other sandal that I showed you. These, okay, so this, which I'm just not noticing there's it's not mildew, it must be like baby powder. These are a pair of Snowland boots. Um, I have sold one pair of these before by Yodelers, exact same style, vintage. There is the, they call this a gum sole. I forget what the name is for this funky sole. It is made in the USA. I actually didn't do the bin test on these, but they're good, okay. I usually do the bin test on older shoes, but just a nice 
snow boot, suede, faux fur, and then the inside is shirling, so your feet will definitely stay warm. Metal, like, eyelets, uh, quality boot. I'm guessing those are from the, they're really popular, what, in the 70s and 80s? I sold a pair just like those on Etsy this last year for, oh, I could put it in the corner. I can't remember. It was at least 50, if not more than that. Love these booties. They are so cute. I love like the brown. It's almost a taupe with the ruching crease. I don't know what you want to call that. And it's got the lug sole. I love the lug sole. And these are aerosols. I do not pick up all aerosols, but this looks like a really new style. And the inside looked very nice. These are a size six and a half, and they're the incline. That's the style name. So again, I'll put those near the end of my death pile. And the winner, as far as how much I'll probably get on shoes, these are brand new in the box. Okay, they're not brand new. I'm guessing they were worn a few times, uh, but they still have the original box. These are beautiful. Like, my finger glides on these. Um, they are so soft. Here is the Mate and Rodeo Wear. Western Wear seems to really be trending right now. Uh, these are gorgeous with all the stitching detail. Just very glossy. These would probably be more like for a night out just because uh, pointed toe. Or no. Would you say almond? They look more like almond to me. But here's the box. And I did look these up. They retail for quite a bit. Like two to $300. Um, I'll have to show you the bottom so you can see the brand, but it was a new brand to me. And this is, I don't even know how to say it. Uh, these are a 36 and a half. They're a European size. Oh, the brand's right here. <laughs> okay, so I didn't look this brand up then. I will need to look it up. They feel amazing, like, so they could, and the stitching looks impeccable. It is Tamar, Tamara Melon, T-A-M, well, I'll just show you the inside. I don't know if it'll, oh yeah, you can see that. So I'll put in the corner what comps are. I will say it is kind of scratched, which is kind of weird for the sole. Um, and I can see the, is that a sticker? Like, do you see that little air bubble right here? So that kind of has me concerned why that would be coming off. Oh, you know what the problem is? Oh my gosh. I think when they purchase these, see this? It's also here. They're supposed to have peeled this off. Yeah. That's why. I wondered why it felt so weird and there's so much. Hopefully I'm not wrong. No. Okay. So you're supposed to peel this off and they apparently didn't know that. Okay. See? Raw footage. Figuring this out together, right? Okay. That, okay, there we go. Cause now it feels much better. I hope I um, didn't just ruin the bottom of the shoe. Man. All right. Well, when I edit this video, You'll find out if these are like super cheap and I'm way off or what the deal is with these. But they smell so good. I wonder if it's going to say genuine leather. I mean, the interior feels like leather. The box looks nice, but I think the box is kind of weird that it doesn't have the brand on it. It just says Rodeo 35 Eel. Oh, Eel. Oh, Eel. Okay, so maybe that's why the skin looks so striped and funky because it's eel skin um they always have the lid on the box and it's like stuck on the box because i was gonna see if it was branded i just think it's weird that because maybe this isn't the original box like i said i haven't gone through everything see it's like a nice embossed box but there's no branding on it all right we spent enough time with those boots Let's move on to something else. Yeah, because this one's peeled up too, but then look at the edge of the sole. 
See how it was like, oh, that's from the, the sticker liner. Okay, no, I don't know. I give up. I'm stumped on those. But I'm going to put all the details up in the corner as far as if they're worth anything. All right, so those are the shoes. Like I said, they priced the shoes at 50 cents. I'm going to even out my cost of goods because I don't know how much everything costs when they added it all together. So everything I'm showing you here was $44.50. They also had a bake sale. So I paid a total of $50, but uh, included homemade cinnamon rolls and Rice Krispie treats. So I took that out and it brought the total for each item down to 66 or 67 cents, which is great. You cannot beat that. Um, I will disclose that everything that I purchased, I would typically not pick up uh, unless it was like at the bins. A lot of it I got very lucky and somebody who wore like a 2X or a 3X donated some super cute stuff that's not necessarily brand based but style based and I will show those to you. Uh, here are the first couple and I'm thinking I'm going to lot some of them up as they're the same size and brand different color. This one is absolutely adorable. I wish it was in my color. Anybody is known for their soft loungewear, casual wear. And as you can see, this is a women's 2X, women's, uh, just a nice brown. I love this color with a tie front. I like the gathering. It's actually extra material. It's not the bottom, so you're not constantly pulling at your shirt. I can't stand that. I've tried wearing knotted shirts before and I'm just, I'm too uncomfortable. Um, but if it was that extra material, I think I could do that. Here's another one, just in a, is it the same color? It is, but um, the other one has like a, almost like a space dye texture to it. And this one is completely solid. Oh, it also has a pocket. So this one is a side tie, not much of a tie at the bottom. And it is anybody 2X. Now, anybody do not pay up for it because I did check comps quickly and they re they must not retail for very much, but like I said, I'm going to lot those up and even those two together, I'm only in it like $1.30. So even if I can sell them for $20, that's still good profit, but since they're a plus size, I think I can, I'll probably price those at 30 unless I find, there may be a third top like that and then I may ask more, but I don't know why I'm showing you those boots. I already showed you those boots. <laughs> Next, we have a Harley Davidson shirt. Didn't realize until I got home that there is a bleach spot on the graphic. So it's supposed to be super faded, like you can barely see it, but it is an eagle with the Harley banner across the front. Um, it is so faded. I don't even know that you're supposed to make out what it says. It says free here. There's the Harley logo. There is the bleach spot on the wing. If it's not worth, mm, no, because if I bleach it, then you won't see the graphics at all. Here is the tag. And it is a, an, I'm trying to find the size. Extra large. There we go. Extra large. And this is, I like the back as well, Spoken Washington. Lone Wolf. So it's a good size. It's just there's a bleach mark, but if they're wearing it to ride, they probably won't care. This is so soft. I got uh, this in a different color as well. And it's just Adora, which I don't, I think it's just a cheaper end brand, but this is the jacket. So I got this based off of style. It's this very soft plaid, um, like flannel, but it has, is this one have pockets? The other one had pockets. Yeah, there's pockets right here. And it is thick enough that I would call this a shacket. Gorgeous colors and this, now that I'm looking at it, I don't see a size. Let me look down here. Cause I think it was a larger size. All right, well, I don't see a tag, but has side slits and Oh yeah, I would say this is plus size. I would say this is 
a 1x, maybe even 2x. I'll take measurements, but really cute. The next is absolutely crazy to me. I actually thought, so these are heavy. These weigh probably two and a half pounds. And I thought based off of the style that they would have been 90s. And I got them just based off of that. They remind me a lot of Jinko jeans. Very, very wide leg. Like, do you see how big this is? Huge wide leg with its high waist. But I got home and they're actually modern. Um, here is the brand. And while I was, before I looked it up, if you can look at the detail, the piping, the stitching is very well done. And these are a size 44. That's European. These are made in Italy. They are 100% cotton. So they there is no stretch to them. I'll have to take measurements, but yeah, high rise, wide leg. Uh, this brand is on websites like List, like the LYST. These like selling for hundreds of dollars. So I will see. I didn't see. I tried looking up the style. I couldn't find any with the waist tie, but I'm hoping to get a hundred. That's an obscure brand, so I don't know how sought after it is, but. The style is very trending right now. Also, a new brand. I just went with my gut. I was on a time crunch. I had to be somewhere at a certain time. And I actually stayed five extra minutes at the garage sale. was five minutes late. Um, but it was worth it. So this is a Duluth brand, I believe. Hard or Alaskan hard gear. I got it because it is a good size has nice embroidery. It's just a Henley like polyester lightweight top. And I think I can get 15 to 20 for that if I remember. Here is a cute shirt. It's just the boutique with a size tag, but it doesn't feel cheap. This feels like it came from a boutique, not like it came from Wish. <laughs> um, really cute. With the stripes and animal print detail on the sleeve. Just a nice casual shirt. You can put wear this with like a nice statement necklace. It'd be really cute. Or you can wear it with a pair of leggings. I got this because of the color. This is Tahari. I don't pick up all Tahari. Depends on the fabric content. I think this is a cotton blend. But it's that mustard yellow. I will pick up almost anything mustard yellow as long as it's not a cheap fast fashion brand. And I believe this is new without tags. It still has the barb. It doesn't look like it has any wash wear, but excellent condition. And that's an extra large. So I picked up the majority being plus size or larger sizes. Just because whoever donated, yeah, somebody also donated stuff that had like a Stitch Fix subscription. So I also went to the men's section. I love selling men's and picked up this pair of American Eagle jeans. These are the original straight in a size 3330. Just a nice medium wash. Nothing significant about those. I found some buckle jeans for men. I like selling the men's buckle. I pass mostly on the women's, depending on if unless it's a larger size. But I found the buckle and thought of Rustic Goddess Resale as she used to work there and has shared her knowledge on um, specific brands and stuff to look out for. But here we have the Jake style. This is 832 long, which should help it unless they hem them, which I did not look. No, this does not appear to be hem. With the thick white stitch, people like, I always try to put thick stitch. In my title, these are a thinner denim, like pretty thin for guys' jeans. So let's see what they're made out of. Oh, that's why. 50% cotton, 50% tinsel. That's why. I've never seen that combination before, but yeah, they're a thinner jean for a guy. Um, they have a little bit of light wear on the bottom. Found another pair of men's buckle, the 
eight and 31 regular. Again, with thick stitching, straight leg. This one does have some distressing, manufactured distressing. Ugh. Sitting kind of close to the camera. And what is this? I think this is this. Oh, Joseph Ripkoff. A nice giraffe print, animal print, color blocked blouse with a tight waist. Let me see what size this one was. They have, okay, this is a women's US size six. Because it looks bigger than a small, but I'm guessing it's supposed to be kind of draped, like oversized. Love this dad sweater, like this 90s. Actually, I call this a graphic cardigan. Love the colors. This would be better for fall, obviously, so I'll wait and list this. Um, I'll put that towards the end of my death pile. Money pile, whatever you guys want to call it. I personally call it a death pile. All right, so I use, when I first started reselling, I used to sell Maurice's, and it would just be like a quick $15. I have since stopped, but... Never say never, right? I found a women's 2X cardigan. I got this. It looks brand new based off of style. How gorgeous is this color? I absolutely love it. It's like an ivory, a blush pink, and like a mauve. So cute. With a little bit of cable knit. Again, if this was my size, I would keep it. But it is not, so I will list that. And I've actually sold... This last season, I did sell a faux fur vest that I got that was by Maurice's. I think it was a size extra large, and I sold it pretty quick for $30. So, very few styles in certain sizes I will sell. And remember, my cost of goods is so low. There was another um, reseller. I don't think she sells online, but she has like garage sales a few times a year. Well, more than a few times. And so she'll sell stuff. And she uh, was there too. And she walked right by these. So I don't know why. Maybe she um, doesn't sell these things anymore. But these are, this is a new tag for silver jeans. I, it used to be one of my favorite brands to wear for jeans about 10 years ago. I hardly wear jeans anymore. These are a great size too. These are size, women's size 18. Nice dark wash, straight leg with some distressing, and of course they're known for the stitching on their pocket. It's kind of like they're like an S. Those are in excellent condition. Another pair of silver jeans. These are these are a skinny style. These don't look as big. These are yeah, these are twenty nine. These are the Sookie Skinny. Hmm. I might actually try these on because I currently don't have any jeans that fit me. I also was thinking about getting out a year or two ago. I bought a couple of good American pairs of jeans and they run kind of big in my opinion, at least the styles I got. And so I've been trying to sell a pair to get my money back and it hasn't sold. So I may just get those out um, and try them on again because um, I'm a different size than I was then, so not your daughter's jeans, size 16, great mid-length shorts, jean shorts with a cuff. Another pair of silvers. These are shorts as well. Again, newer tag, and these are a size 18. They still need a button. They have some distressing on them. And I didn't do like a, I didn't go through my car. I mean, as you saw from the thumbnail, they gave me a wagon because I was uh, sliding across like a box across and uh, they were like, hey, do you want a wagon? Of course. So that really helped, um, especially since I was in a rush. All right. Another pair of shorts. I got these for myself, I believe. Yeah, because these are just H&M. These are a size 30. They have a button fly, and they're just like a 
uh, jort, I don't know, like a mid-length almost Bermuda. I don't like wearing short shorts, and so I think those will do well. However, those have like no stretch to them, so if they don't fit me, I will just sell them for cheap. Here's another pretty blouse by Joseph Ribkoff. I'm guessing this is a small, yeah, it's a size six, with a nice flutter sheer sleeve and gorgeous beading on the bottom. Great for a night out. I got this based off of style. So there were some Maurice's tops next to each other. And these are both a size 2X. I decided to pick them up based off of style and size. Just a very nice neutral with animal print. This is like a almost like a baseball jersey type. Or what yeah, you know, raglan raglan tee. This would be like a raglan tee. Uh, really cute and again excellent condition if this had wash wear or something on it I would have passed this one is a 3x was this one a 3 if it, this one was a 2 and this one is a 3 again I would keep these if they were my size really cute in this one I think this is my first time finding equipment femme and it is you wouldn't believe it, white. And now I see a spot that wasn't there before. It almost looks like it's very tiny. I'll try to spot clean that. But I can't tell if this is white or if it's like, yeah, I think it's white. Nice blouse, very airy with the pleating on the back. So very flowy. And this is 100% silk. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is my first time finding this brand. I'll put comps in the corner. I have no clue. And then this was just a simple men's crew neck. But what caught my attention was the Tommy Bahama. It says relax. And with the exposed stitching, I wondered if it was inside out because they had removed the tag and it is reversible. The inside has relax and it's kind of almost textured. Do you see? It's like terrible, but it says relax. So I figured why not? I try to only stick with linen or silk or something really graphic for that brand, but I was going to give it a shot. Here we have a vintage Pioneer Seed hat. The bill needs, or no, the hat got squished. Anyways, this is by K Products, made in the USA, vintage agri farmer hat. Found another one. This was actually a patch hat. This one should do well. Although there's like a line of blue right there, which I think is kind of odd. It actually comes off. Oh. Huh. That is weird. Anyways, it's a patch hat. Great lakes hybrids. This one should do better probably than the Pioneer hat. And this one's by Swingster, made in the USA. And there's a 1-800 number to call on the back. It's so funny. Um, mesh. And yeah, so I'll have to figure out that glue because I'm not sure why they had that there. I don't know, but that's just how they made the hat. Some patch hats can do super well. Got this one for my daughter. Cat and Jack just makes the cutest clothes. This is a size 4-5. Cat and Jack is sold at Target. Really cute dress. Call me crazy, but I'm gonna, well not call me crazy. My husband teaches online Sunday afternoons and so we haven't been to church since pre-COVID. And I'm going to start going again with my four kids. My mom goes there too, so I think between the two of us, we should be all right. Here is a lay, so I got that for church, you know. Got this nice Lane Bryant shirt for the fall, but first pumpkin spice with this cute, sexy, well, not really sexy, I guess it could be. Um, cut out, my pile fell. 
I'm surrounding myself. Here's another. This is a 2X raglan shirt. This is by Lucky Bird Clothing. I don't know where that is sold, but again, I got this based off of style. This one is really cute. It's plus size as well. I'm just so excited to list all of these because, you know, I think size being inclusive with sizing is really important. And I don't have a curated closet. I sell everything modern, vintage. Um, really cute with this ruffle sleeve plaid floral print. Again, I wish this was my size. This girl had great style. Oh, some swimwear. So here we have a swim dress. I love selling swim dresses. It's probably my most popular um, style to sell. And this is BN Classic. This is a 20W. And then I got a 90s lace bra. I do really well with these online bras. Typically the bolder the color and pattern, the better. This one's pretty neutral, so I will ask 20 to 25 for it. It's maybe a super light pink. I can't tell with my lighting. I actually don't have any lights on right now. I just opened my curtains because we have a huge front window. And natural lighting is the best. 36B. And it is by, oh, it doesn't say, okay. I found the brand Becca, which does retail for quite a bit. I did have a swimsuit cover that I could not sell for the life of me that I sent it thread up. It didn't sell either, so I just let them keep it. But this one is a really cute beaded tankini swimsuit top in brown with pink and brown beads. I think it's like acrylic and like antique gold. So that's really cute. Oh, my daughter's waking up. That's a size medium. I am getting near the end. Here is a swimsuit bottom that goes to a top. Oh, do you hear that? Okay, I didn't do the crunch test because I was in such a hurry. I got this because it came with a matching top. I typically pass on free country. I think it's just Kohl's or whatever. But it's a cute little swim skirt, right? But uh, the elastic is gone bad. If you don't rinse your swimsuits after you wear them, the elastic goes bad from the chlorine and or ocean, wherever you've been. All right, I'm going to have to speed up. Okay, this next piece I got, I thought it was from like, I thought this was Vintage Hot Topic brand. It could still be. I couldn't find anything when I briefly looked. It's just chemistry. However, it is missing the zipper pull, so you're not going to be able to zip it. It has the, I don't know what that is. I had a hard time making out the graphic because I couldn't close it. I don't know if it was a skull. Like, no, it's wings. Is it wings? I'll have to stand up for this one. What is that? I can't tell. I thought this was a wing, like an angel wing. I don't know, but uh, here's the back. It reminds me of Sinful Affliction, that brand. And what does that say? You guys can let me know if you have any idea on this, because I don't. I was gonna sell it as is. I guess I could do a Google search, but the graphic is so faint. Um, I think I'm going to send this one into thread up. Calvin Klein, it used to do well for me, not as well now, but based off of style with the floral print and size. Here we have Donna Morgan. I always pass on it, but this one is new with tags, Stitch Fix. And I recently sold a Stitch Fix, well, a brand, I forget the brand, but it was Stitch Fix. And it's, it got tons of attention and it sold for full price. It got attention across all the platforms and it sold for $25. So I'm not going to get mad about that. This one is a size 12, a nice geometric with like half buttons and a waist tie. So very flattering and like this jersey knit. Yeah, so tags. Here we have a nice, this is newer Talbots. 
polka dot, kind of polka dot, I don't know what you want to call that, dress, and again, like, it's almost like scuba material. I don't know. Here, okay, one vintage women's piece. I'm gonna have to pause here and go get my daughter and come back, but really cute with the ruffle neck, little puff sleeve. Now, it's actually unfinished. This is handmade. They did have the optional long sleeve that you could add to it. They just never attached it with a rickrack. And this is a maxi with more rickrack at the bottom. I absolutely love the lilac purple color. Um, as far as size go, it does look like a size small. All right, let's see if I can finish up this video. We'll see. The next item I have, ooh, I love this. This also makes me want to keep it. Uh, this is J. Jill denim, and it is a chambray tunic. It is so cute. I love it. It's a closet, st closet staple. You're going to hear my daughter. She likes to, um, she doesn't cry. She likes to, what's the word I call it? I don't know. It's cute, but, uh. She's finding her voice, so she's talking a little bit. All right, so this is a crescent. This is exclusively for Stitch Fix, and this is a large. Again, I could easily keep this a nice um, pin tuck pleated blouse, semi-sheer with the cuff balloon sleeve, kind of. A loose, relaxed fit, perfect for the office or just to wear. I got this. Uh, this is Disney Parks. Oh, it's an extra, extra large, great size. And this is for the movie Up. Up is very popular. Um, if you find their spirit jerseys, it will say Disney spirit jersey. It sells, it's like a bolo. It's on my list to find someday. But here's an Up shirt. It's super cute with the balloons and the house. And the balloons on the back as well. It's in excellent condition. Here is another one of those anybody shirts that we started with and this one is the tie front so again I will probably just lit lot all those tops together we'll wait and see we'll wait and see Eddie Bauer I only pick up vintage Eddie Bauer or more substantial pieces this is an extra large a nice pullover in a pink good size too I think I'm down. I'm getting near the end, so bear with me. Okay. I got this dress. It's like scuba fabric. I got this based off of style. I don't think reed is anything, but I took a chance on a lot of these clothes because a lot of them were like Stitch Fix and brands I knew that sell. I love the almost like watercolor ombre blue and like beige very nautical like for the beach but the black is the, the back is black so a really nice either like wedding guest or office dress this coat I'm gonna list it now but if it doesn't sell over the summer I'm gonna send it into thread up they price and tailor very very well and this is a an animal print coat and it's wool it's almost all wool it's like 80% wool pea coat and it's like mid-length well okay maybe hip length but very nice very nice this one I may keep I don't know I love thermals this is Polo, Ralph Lauren. Is there a logo anywhere? No. Okay, I may keep it then because if it's not branded, um, they just have a harder time selling. So I may just keep this because it's nice and thin. I don't know if you can see how thin that is. But this would be great um, like if I'm ever sunburnt or I get chilly a lot. Here's another shacket. The mustard, yellow, white birch. Why does that sound so familiar? Extra large, great size. Shacket, it's like a flannel fleece material. It feels more like fleece. This one has the raw edges, which is great. 
Here is that top um, that went with those bottoms and a nice pink and gray ombre underwire. Nice cups so it will give you great support. It's from 2012 so it does have age on it. It's a large. I will still sell it with just the top because I think that is cute and I'll sell it for like 10 to 12 dollars to just see. Here we have a, this is a modern piece, but it's a teal, or not teal, like a, yeah, I'd say a teal color. Floral satin robe duster. Um, it's by a plaza, large, extra large. It does have the original sash tie, so that's great. I'll probably just list that one for $25 because it is modern. The vintage ones I sell, I list them for like $35. Unless they're a sought after brand. And there goes my cat knocking over a box. Hold on. I've got a few more things to show you. Oh, I'm already recording. Okay, so I am back with the last like 10 items or so. This was a brand also that I had not heard of, but it was 100% linen, so I decided to go ahead and get it. Pepitos, and it said made in Italy. It's this nice, I actually like this style. It's kind of wagon looky with the layered. It almost reminds me of a nursing shirt, but it's not. So it's just kind of layered, dark blue. I believe this is 100% linen, so of course I was going to get it. Even if it was a linen blend, I would. But yeah, there are a lot of bl uh, brands at this yard side I hadn't heard of. Yeah, it's 100% linen. These resell, I think, for like 20 25 This one is amazing. So this is a new without tags, soft surroundings. But the style is what kind of threw me. I think this is an older tag. But this is very, it's like crepe, rayon, very hippie-ish as far as the style and colors. Artsy is how I'd probably describe it. With this like lime green, blue, and purple. And it's tunic length. It has like Baroque slash leaves. I can't tell, but it's a roll tab shirt. And like I said, it is new without tags. Extra large. So, excellent size, funky style grab that this is pretty cool I will put a picture of it up in the corner um, this is like a, a buck a deer in the forest it is the reverse like one side's beige and brown and then the colors are inverted like reversed like the um, San Marcos blankets I will do a Google lens search to see if I can legit find if it's San Marcos or a, an off-brand there are no tags. There is a small hole that I will repair. It's not small, small. It's, but I think it is repairable. And because of this graphic, I don't think it will affect the um, value of it that much. Obviously some, but, oh, there it is. Yeah, it's, it's kind of big. Uh, you see right there. So, I think I can fix it. I know I can fix it. So, anyways, that's a pretty cool blanket. And I initially got this for us because I love beach towels, but it's vintage JC Pennies and it's made in Brazil. I love these neon colors. So, I'm going to sell it. Um, because I will run out of the money. <laughs> and then here's a really neat piece that I think I can get about $50. This is from Rambo. It's his Jeep. Um, at first I thought it was like a G.I. Joe piece, but it's in pretty good shape. I think right here... Um, a, a launcher for missiles 
was, so it is not complete. It does have the, it has a string for the crank, but I think this used to like, it may have had a hook at one end that would crank, um, and the hook is no longer there. It is just the string, so I will have to look. But overall, like the body and um, stuff, it still has the original stickers, and it is by Golico. Coleco, sorry, it's with a C, Coleco from 1985, I believe. So, pretty cool. Uh, if it wasn't worth anything, I was going to give it to my son. He's really into military, but I would much rather have the money. He has a lot of military toys. And then there was a section of jewelry. Their jewelry was very well priced, I think 50 cents a piece. I should have gotten so much more, but they had nothing priced again, so I didn't. And here are the items I got to show you. The first and probably most exciting piece is this sterling silver um, butterfly. It is very detailed, very ornate and gorgeous. This is made in Denmark by Alice. I'll have to put her name up in the corner. I can't remember, but comps looks decent. Um, I think I can get 25 to 50 for this. And then I went ahead and picked up this vintage watch, probably from the 90s, because of the stars. So it needs a new battery, which I can just take to my local jeweler, but it'll focus. It's got stars, and so I think there's a moon there too. And I guess I didn't even try to... Because the back still has the sticker on it like it's new. So I didn't even try to push it in to see if the battery worked. Or I was going to turn it to see. But yeah, so the stars move. And it is at 100 feet water resistant. That also shows the date. I forget the name of these. I'm just going to see if, because the stars move, but I don't get the point. Because sometimes it'll have like a moon. And those can do decent, but the band's in excellent condition. Again, I think this is new. And then the rest of the stuff was all sold together. So all of this was just 50 cents or not. I forgot to take this one out. This was marked 925. So I went ahead and got it. It is rose quartz and it's like a flower and it has a little petal detail here. It is 925. I don't know. Um, 2025. It is marked also, so it's marked 925, which is sterling silver. It's also marked RJ, which means real jewel. It's like authentic. Because sometimes people will message you, it'll say like 925 Mexico or 925 China, and they're skeptical if it's true sterling silver. So I got this lot because it is amber toned jewelry, and amber toned seems to do pretty well as far as the color. They had um, rose quartz baggy, which I should have gotten because it was actual quartz, and some other. They had their jewelry color coordinated. But here are some amber, like true amber rings. This one is faceted, so it has a little bit of a sheen. This one is uh, a swirl. Um, so pretty cool. No markings, but it's very well polished. I don't see any little dings in it. I don't know what size. It's probably a six to a seven, this one is. I have a ring sizer, I will size it. And this one seems to be like a six. And then there's some wire wrapped earrings. I think somebody who don't who makes jewelry donated a bunch of their pieces. Um, those are neat. I think I was going to keep these little droplets because they are multicolor, so they will go with a lot, and they are not marked. So, and then these very boho. These are genuine. Um, oh, it's just a C. Carcel? I don't know. It's been a while since I've listed jewelry, so I'm a little rusty. And some other just like light pink ones. You've got these. So I will most likely lot these like tones together and sell them as a set. And like to say like artisan amber toned earrings so that is my complete haul it actually was probably more than 67 because I don't think I broke down all the different pieces of jewelry but again 
let me know in the comments do you think I did well I mean I know a lot of these will be lower sales but plus size clothes trendy styles I, I couldn't say no but hope you enjoyed and I will have a video soon for a thread up night is it pajama lot nightwear lot I'll have to look at the box what they call the boxes it's like pajamas intimates I was intrigued, so I got one, and that will be my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and have a great day. Bye.